Take the burgers! Yeah! Oh, I did it. Oh, yeah. Oops, I did something. In today's battle, we have Unity versus Godot versus Unreal. We're making our cooking game. Participants have got one hour. Let's get going. Three, two, one, start. I feel like it's a good idea just to get a nav mesh in. I'm going to try and do some AI. Nice. Okay, the rules for today is that everyone can bring in a starting environment and basic movement. The rest of it we're creating in this hour. So that's the mission. I'm starting with with this little scene here and some basic movement. So we can just right now move between these couple of spots and that's all that we can do. So my starting point is I have a small scene kit in here, a little camera, a little bit of the kitchen, some stuff flying around. I got some scripts ready, but it might have an idea of what I'm doing in a bit. Hopefully awesome. it will remind you of your childhood. What do you know about my childhood? Who have you been talking to? So I've created this little environment with some beautiful baked lighting and some reflections. And we've also got this player movement. Chris, you're spending a lot of time there on the pizza toppings. That looks Very like important. a chopping board though. Is that a chopping board pizza? It's a chopping board. I'm going to put a pizza with some dough and some sauce right here. But this is a really key. This is like the first station you see. So it's got to look kind of nice. And we need colliders. So when we click on the stuff, we'll like reach and grab it. I actually have no cooking involved in my game at all. No cooking? But uh... I'm really impressed with the amount of time everyone's putting into the actual food before starting to make gameplay mechanics. Those hamburgers, <laughs> they're looking good, those hamburgers. I wanted to make sure that it hit the standards of every restaurant. So I just threw them all on the floor. Ooh. I think Omar's taken the lead i just saw some tomatoes bouncing up in the air <laughs> yeah <laughs> we got something working uh oh burger's a bit big well you've got a hamburger and a camera so it's pretty much done chris i see you doing some cinema machine camera work over there it does so much for you out of the box you just do configuration and it looks good does a godot have something like cinema machine i have no idea what that is look at that mad blueprint action going on there right, right as you said no, that i did a no, massive no, typo okay. Quick interruption, we've got some brand new free starter courses over at gamedev.tv, so jump over there if you're interested in learning game development and grab your free course right now. Oh, more bouncing tomatoes. Nice. Hey, Chris, do you have any bouncing tomatoes? I do not. Well, you might, we might as well finish this right now. I win. I got bouncing tomatoes and you guys don't. But I don't have bouncing tomatoes, but I do have transition in between each of these. We're winning the cinema machine right here. I think I picked the worst thing for me to do now that I like actually <laughs> think about it. I've never successfully gotten ray casting to work on the first try. Uh, okay, quick, oh, is it? Oh, oh, oh my God, I did it. Oh yeah. Oops, I did something. Dude, that looks like Fruit Ninja. Are you making Fruit Ninja? <laughs> you got it. Well, the good news yeah. is you've only got 43 minutes left. What you doing over there, Quackers? Are you writing any code or are you just dragging little lines in little boxes? Oh. Like playing a video game over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm having a bit of trouble getting me my, uh, my burgers to throw because I seem to throw them and I turn around and they've been flung over there. Yeah. And now, yeah, you can just play some football and just <laughs> kick it around. Look at that. Oh. I'm not sure what game I'm making yet. Maybe it's a delivery game. Maybe it's a football game. Maybe you cook. Oh, I see what happened. Oh my God, I figured it out. I'm so smart. We're watching very clean. closely to see if it actually does fix it. The eyes are on you. So Quackers, what would you say is the number one best thing about Unreal that you love? I really like just the lighting, how it comes. You don't, I don't change any of my lighting settings really because it already looks beautiful. Omar, best thing in Godot? Mm, everything, I mean, Godot's the best. No, honestly, you know what? If I could say the best thing about Godot, it's the fact that it's open source and the community itself is amazing. Chris? I really like that I can use C Sharp for everything and it's like first class supported and you can modify the engine so much. Amazing, I got the score working. Cool it could be interesting be. if you take one food and when you slice it in half, it's different food. It looks like a leg of lamb or something and when you chop it, it turns into like a carrot. Is that carrot that's going on a pizza? Who knows? What's the name of your game? What's the name of your cooking game where you don't cook? Give me like 10 minutes. I'll think of something really creative. Okay. I got pizza prepper. Pizza prepper. Nice. Quackers, what would you call your game? Hamburger football? Exactly. Okay, I've got the first two segments of this, I think, working. Yep, so we can pick up some food over to the next station. Sprinkle it on top so we get some cheese onto my pizza. We've got 30.5 minutes remaining. Yeah, you should be you should be the polish stage now. All your features in, all the codes done, and now you're just kind of Excuse doing me. perfect. I'm excited to see That's how spaghetti right. the blueprint gets over there. Oh no. Alright. Oh there you go. 
Oh, this poor little android would like some french fries, please. Nah, you can have them off the floor. <laughs> oh no. Why would they throw forwards? Oh, what was he doing? Are you controlling that character that's running around there? No, he's just like constantly going towards me. Oh, that's the AI. Gotcha. Yeah, Godot and Unity. I don't see an AI move to function on you. You should about. watch the last battle I was in. I had all kinds of AI in that one. He would <laughs> smash your AI. I am not denying that one bit. <laughs> oh, I had rocket launchers, so it probably would blow up your little cooking game. Yep. Now I should probably add a way to like lose the game. That would probably make a lot of sense. I just had a Windows error on somebody. Who were that? <laughs> that was a notification for my Clash of Clans. Amazing game. Anyone still plays it. Okay, pick up the French fries. Face yeah. the customer. Oh, Throw oh. the French fries. There you go. Oh, you just knocked them off the table. That'd be great if your customer just swats the, the fries off the <laughs> bench. Get them out of here. That'd be fun. Yeah, you get the order wrong and they just slap them straight off the table. Oh, did it just go upwards? It's, colliding. it's colliding with something. You don't have any collisions in your world, do you? No, no, I, I, I checked. I think it's throwing upwards. Maybe there's some sort of like salmonella food poisoning. That's why you're throwing upwards. Oh, take the burgers. <laughs> Yeah! Okay. It immediately that'll, that'll... suggests you should be... This is a projectile when the hamburger is flipped like that. That makes sense. It's hitting... Is it hitting him? It's hitting something way before him, I reckon. Do you have a bad food type? Like, don't don't hit this one or else your points go backwards? I don't. Chris, I feel I haven't been bothering you for a while. Oh, Pizza great time to ask because we might be able to open and close the oven. Maybe. Oh, nice. We're about to see. Oh, no, I haven't. I need to hook up some stuff. I'm seeing some errors come through. Opens. Oh yeah, the door Closes. opens. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna smidge over 18 minutes remaining. You've given him, given him a groin cube. I noticed there. It's like that. That wasn't on purpose. It was. Uh, it should be triple points if you hit him in the groin. Please implement that. Are we at the point where we push the make Unreal crash button? Oh, this is a great side by side. You've each got your code going at the moment. It's really interesting to see the difference between that's how Unity looks when you're coding. That's how Godot looks when you're coding. This is how Unreal looks when you're doing Blueprint. You can just see Hello? the difference in professionalism with my spaghetti and their somewhat decently structured code. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. Those fries are going with a bit more velocity now. Bam. I think I've hit the point where I'm trying to think, but I can't think anymore. Do you need like, some design input with 10 minutes to go? I would love some, but like with 10 minutes to go, I don't know. I kind of want to put in a line, like, you know, in Food Ninja, there's like that line that follows the mouse when you slice. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of tough to do off the top of your head, a like a trail render particle effect type thing. Oh, wow, my God, you're so smart. Chris, is your guy supposed to carry the pizza on his neck? Yes, that was intentional. I'm glad you saw that. Eight minutes left. Now he's got okay, a pizza skirt. Oh, that's Iron Man. I'm sorry, Captain America. What am I talking about? Wrong superhero. But I didn't realize we've got such a geographic battle going on America, Canada, and UK. Yeah. Five and a half minutes left. You numpty. Oh, yeah. I think my brain has completely turned off, actually. Okay, no, we have two problems. minutes remaining. Okay, one minute left. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. What percentage of the game you wanted to build did you actually build? I got about 85% of the way there. Like 90%. I just wanted to do the, the trail thing. Solid 20%. So, yeah. Chris, in Unity, tell us about what you made. So we have all of these little pieces that have a food script with a prefab. So once we click on it, we basically clone this object and put it in his hand comes over here and then we're just raycasting and instantiating this prefab above it and it's got a rigid body and a mesh collider so it falls down the core movement part is this gigantic update loop on the player where if we're depending on different waypoints that we're at we'll do different things so we're at waypoint two that's in front of the oven then we'll do this oven pizza interaction where this is a pretty big coroutine that's a whole scripted sequence of okay this guy comes over here he will open the oven right here after he plays a little animation. Then we'll wait for a little bit Then we'll play the animation again to put in the pizza or take it out, depending on if we're going in reverse or not. And at the very end, we uh, reparent it under the hand. So that's how it follows him around as we're just moving the pizza underneath 
like the hand transform. That's more or less it. Excellent, good stuff. Omar in Godot, tell us about what you've created. This is what I was trying to make. A little Fruit Ninja action. And this is what I got. We got a little kitchen. It'll lower itself. So over time, the difficulty will increase. You can kind of see the timers are decreasing over there. And yeah, now fruit spawns every now and then. You can see that onion turned into two carrots. So yeah, you slice them up and that's it. You have the score. If we keep going, fruits will start flying out more frequently and we can combo. But one thing I didn't have time for, obviously the original Fruit Ninja, many of you might know, there's like that trail thing that follows the mouse, which I just didn't have time for. On the bottom, any fruits that you like fail to catch or to slice, they'll fall over here. Or they end up getting destroyed. Yeah, once you hit five fallen fruits, you go to the game over scene, which just says you suck. That's my that's my cooking game where there's no actual cooking involved. It's just slicing up fruits. I guess it's more of a cooking prep game. Awesome, thank you for that. Okay, over to Unreal with Quackers. So we've got a customer, right? He's after a burger because we've got either floor burgers or floor fries. He's also very eager, as you can see. He'll, he, he won't take his eye off you. So you can pick up a burger and launch it at him. The burger despawns after a while, because there we are. Now he wants some fries. So we pick up the fries. The fries seem to launch miles. The fries do not seem to launch miles better. You know, I've got, I'm getting goat simulator vibes out of this. Now I'm going to walk you through a bit of how I constructed this masterpiece, because I've done quite a few hideous dodges to end up with this shocking result. You probably wonder where the, the customer goes after he's served and if you guessed a giant platform right underneath the map, then of course you're correct. He gets teleported down there because for some reason my randomizer wasn't working. It switches which order he would like, sets the text above his head, and then sends him right back up to the doorway to sprint at you again. We have two colliders, one for the fries, one for the burgers. Make sure you're throwing the right thing at him. Otherwise it'll reset and do the end screen. Everything up here is a separate blueprint. Some are even empty, such as the throwable burger because it's got nothing to do apart from you just lob it. It's an absolute mess, I know. So it's best not to zoom out, really. I don't really like the look. <laughs> no, I no, mean, it. zoom out. We want to see how messy it is. So yeah, that's Enjoy my game. Blueprint. I love it. So there we go. We have three sort of cooking games, more like restaurant games. We've got in Unity with Chris. We've got pizza prepping in Godot with Omar. We've got vegetable ninja slicing action going on. And then in Unreal with Quackers, we've got launch the food at your disgruntled robot customers. So well done. Thanks for joining us in today's battle. See you again soon.